Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 38 of my King Tiger and Bird Panzer diorama build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brill. Thank you. Okay, in the last episode we were just finishing off the Bird Panzer. That has been primed in red primer. So let's get back to the King Tiger. Here we're going to finish off the radio driver equipment with a quick wash and a dry brush. So without further ado, let's crank up that speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we go, there's that done. Now it's ready to fit into the fighting compartment. So let's get it in there, shall we? All fitted satis. Looks good. When you're doing this, it feels like you're holding the model to the camera for ages. Then when you look back at the video you've taken, it's like, Blink and you miss it. Note to myself, hold model to camera for longer. Anywho, I digress as usual. I forgot to do the headlight before I prime the tank. So let's get that fitted, shall we? Here we go. There we go, there's the headlight and lead fitted. That goes together really well, I'm happy with that. Next, I'm going to butcher the side guards. I've done a fair bit of research on this and I've only seen one or two pictures of a King Tiger with all its side guards fitted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave one side full and the other with two of the plates removed. So. Firstly, what I'll do is I'll mark where to cut with my panel liner, then I'm going to cut it with my fine saw, then finally, using a flat file, I'm going to file it down so the plastic looks the correct thickness. What could possibly go wrong, eh? Let's find out. Absolutely nothing. Oh ye of little faith. You can see the original thickness there and how it looks now. I'm happy with that. Next, the rear mud plates. I'm going to be doing some bending with those. Just bend them around a bit and do a bit of filing too. So, here we go with that.
there you go. There we have the rear mud guards butchered to how we want them. Now to move on to the jack for the tank. So let's get this cracked, shall we? There we go, that's the tank jack sorted out, with a tad of PE thrown in as well. So let's pop that to one side. Now we're going to use the wing nuts from Aber's Clamps and Clasps set 35-A93 to have the clamp open. We'll be cutting the parts apart and creating an open clamp. You'll see as we go along, what could possibly go wrong with such minute work? You're about to find out. And there we have one clamp done. Now for the other, here we go.
On the second one, I cut the clamp too fine on one side. So I had to make the rest of the bracket up with a couple of strips of very fine styrene. So I'm going to pop that over there to allow it to dry before I carry on with that bit. Now prepping other parts that are primed ready for a coat of white for the interior. So let's get them ready shall we? A bit of masking on the inside of the top hull. Okay, so that lot's ready for a coat of interior white in the fighting compartment. Now to move on to a bit more bending and tweaking of those rear mud guards. I'm still not quite happy about them. There we go, that's those tweaked. Now to fit the last bit of the clamps. And there we go, that's the clamp arms fitted. We'll pop those away ready for a coat of red primer. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So, thank you for watching episode 38. If you want to see what happens in episode 39, please subscribe to my channel. Help it grow. Like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.